What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Dominic Rich and this is episode 3 of the English Premier League Winter Transfer Roundup brought to you by Manscaped where in 2022 we're going to take a personal hygiene a lot more serious take personal grooming to the whole nother level and you're going to do so with manscape so what i want you to do i want you to head on over to manscape.com and use the coupon code dominic rich to get yourself 20 percent off each and every one of your orders free shipping including the performance package 4.0 would be a perfect way to start but if you peruse through the website you could see there's a wide assortment of accessories that you'll be able to pick up the Shares 2.0, a luxury nail kit. I just actually got that yesterday and tried it out. And it's one of the sharpest nail clippers I've ever... And the safest as well, not to forget that. Nail clip I ever used. And uh, there's the body wash. I got that as well. And the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. So make sure you go check out, check out manscaped.com and you get you all your accessories. I also have the refined cologne. I'm gonna put some of that on before I head on out today. There's a lip balm, and there's so many things that you could actually pick up other than the performance package 4.0. So do me a favor, do yourself a favor, head on over to manscaped.com and get the right tools for the job when it comes to below the waist grooming. So once again, 20% off with the code Dominic Rich and free shipping included. Trust me, your balls would thank you. So, look, we're going to go straight into the transfers. And we did touch on Dan Lundulu the last time we did this. We talked about Bali Mumba and Jorgen Lacardia, Axel Tuan Zabi, and Co. Wright. We covered some big ones in the fact that Kieran Trippier joined. Newcastle from Atletico Madrid and there's a few other ones that we actually touched on so look there's a few more that we got to talk about and I don't think we actually touched on this Hassane Kamara left back from OGC Nice to Watford I don't think we talked about that one so he's actually official joining Watford from Nice 4 million euros so there's a, there's a lot of transfers that we got to talk about right here. And we're going to get into that right about now. So these are the latest transfers. And this is the purpose of this series to just keep you updated with what's going on. So look, we just got an update as well with Luca Dina added to the list. I realized he, just, he was just added to the list. That's a big one. We're going to talk about him. We're going to talk about Chris Wood today and much more so i want to start from where i actually left off however and i don't want to miss anything i really don't want to miss anything at all i did touch on keenan davis sam mcqueen vitaly mikolenko and co but i didn't i don't think i talked about Totti gomez grasshopper to wolves end of loan and he does go back out on loan to grasshopper so yeah, that one is definitely official there. Hassane Kamara joining OJC Nice from Watford, 4 million euros. I did talk about Nathan Patterson from Rangers to Everton, 14 million euros. It's interesting to see how he turns out. That's a lot of money to pay for a 20-year-old Scottish right back who's not really established as yet. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to touch on the new ones. And if I miss anyone... You know, you feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If there's any rumor you want me to touch on in the future, we could actually do that one. So, let's start off with Jacob Montez coming back from loan. Crystal Palace from Wassel Beveren in the, over in Belgium. And he's a 23-year-old USA player. Attacking midfielder, end of loan. That's all we have on that one. Kieran Trippier, 31 year old, joining Newcastle from Atletico Madrid. And uh, it's crazy that he leaves Atletico Madrid where he's going to play Champions League football to actually fight 
and scrap in the relegation zone or even who knows go down to the championship next season there's one that we didn't actually did i talk about samir i think i did touch on samir from Udinese to Watford. Yeah, I think I did talk about him. I said, Samir, you a handsome creature, bro. And Philip Coutinho, we did talk about. Moving from Barcelona to Aston Villa. On loan, no obligation to buy Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Went over to Roma and made his debut immediately. I think that was a 4-3 loss against Juventus. And probably was involved in the Chiesa injury if i'm not mistaken and i think where we did leave the the last episode off was right here wesley didn't talk about him 25 year old aston villa striker going to international in the brazilian league on loan so that one actually happened on my birthday and yeah happy belated birthday to me right i turned 50 <laughs> yeah that's a joke that's going around yeah yeah so we got wesley that definitely got wesley joining the brazilian league international and we got a lot to go through we got a lot of rumors to go through but also what i want to do is i want to make it interesting so if i do have any type of you know article to share or any type of you know presentation i will try to do so okay i will definitely try to do so we got a lot to go through man a lot a lot of rumors and a lot of a lot of updates so let's not delay at all so wesley he joins international from aston villa so we do have an official source here and I'm going to actually share that one with you so we have something nice to look at. Wishing Wesley all the best as he heads back to Brazil on loan with Internacional. He never really, you know, did well at Aston Villa and definitely have fallen down the pecking order. Or they have moved on from Wesley as they have brought in Danny Ings, Oli Watkins, Leon Bailey, Buendia and all these new players. Luca Dina, we're going to talk about a little later. Philip Coutinho. And there's no place for Wesley, who had gone back to Club Bruges unknown. I think that's where they brought him from and he went back there unknown. So, Wesley joins Internacional on loan. So, we're going to run through the confirmed ones and then we're going to actually talk about some rumors. Filip Benkovic, 24-year-old Croatian, leaves Leicester City to Udinese on a free they actually parted ways by mutual consent and I, and I found it strange because Leicester City they are going through a bit of a center back injury crisis this season and the fact that they do have a fit center back in Filip Benkovic unproven however at the Premier League level and they let him go for free they actually terminated his, his contract on mutual ground so I was actually surprised that this happened instead of actually keeping him and using him and maybe who knows who knows what you know he'll turn out to be but yeah they're getting rid of philip benkovic he's joining udonese who are owned by the the same owners of watford the Pozzo family so all the best to philip benkovic croatian international there i can't even remember if he did make his international debut for croatia as yet but he's just been a guy that never really caught on fully in the league so all the best to him and let's see what he does over at udinese philip benkovic has left leicester city after the club and player mutually agreed to cancel the remaining term of his contract best of luck in the future philip so you can see him there in the leicester city kit all decked out and ready to go but yeah he'll play in the italian syria where he's closer to home croatia and who knows he might just turn into a world beater over there we see that happen a lot you see players leave the league and then they turn out to be great next up we have edo kayembe 23 year old defensive midfielder from congo dior who joins watford from upen in the belgian league 4.7 million euros never heard of this player 
and don't know what he's going to actually add to the team because I've never seen him. But I think he's coming in to replace the outgoing Ozan Tufan, who was there on loan, but they have, you know, sent him back to Fenerbahce, I think. And Edo Kayembe comes in. Who knows? Maybe they send him out on loan too. Because I don't know if he's the answer though. I really don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Never heard of him. But there's the unknown. And you never know what you're going to get with a player like that. You never know, man. You really never know. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Official Kayembe signs on. So you could see Edo Kayembe pictured there with his Watford jersey. And the statement reads, Watford FC is pleased to announce the signing of highly rated midfielder Edo Kayembe on a four and a half year contract from Belgian side KAS Upen. The 23 year old is the third addition to Claudio Ranieri's squad during the January transfer window following the signings of left back Hassane Kamara and central midfielder Samir. An energetic left footed Central operator DR Congo International Kayembe joins the Golden Boys after playing his trade in Belgium top flight for five years. After signing for Anderlecht from Sharks 11 Kinshasa in his native country in late 2016, Kayembe progressed to the youth ranks to make 39 senior appearances, including two Europa League games before making the switch to UPEN in 2020. So the box-to-box -box enforcer progressive with the ball and a skill pass have played for UPenn 17 times in the league, this term scoring on four occasions to help his side up to 12th in the Belgian First Division A. Kayembe made his debut for DR Congo in 2019 and has since been a regular for his country, winning the most recent of his eight caps in a 2-0 win over Benin in November. He will wear the number 39 shirt at Watford. Welcome to the Hornets, Edo. So while we're there, we're just going to take a quick look at the Hassane Kamara signing and see what they had to say about him. So official Watford sign Kamara. You can see him there with his Watford jersey as well. Watford FC is delighted to announce the signing of Ivorian left-sided defender Hassane Kamara on a deal until June 2025. The 27-year-olds join from... OGC Nice, currently second in France's Ligue 1, from whom he has made 11 league appearances this season. After beginning his career at LB Chateau, Cameroon moved, Camero moved to Stade de Reims in 2015, where he won the French second division, so showcasing his pace and creative ability from deep. Most success followed as Camero helped Reims qualify for the Europa League with goals against PSG and AS Monaco, which earned him a place in the 2019-20 League on team of the season at left back. So the man is a highly rated player, man. The versatile defender moved to Nice last season and has gone on to make over 50 appearances for the club in all competitions, including four in the Europa League, where he scored against German side Bayer Leverkusen in December 2020. So he's a he's a left-sided center back, but he does score a few goals, right? More recently, Camera made his debut for the Ivory Coast national side in June 2021, featuring in a 2-1 victory over Burkina Faso. Camera has opted to wear the number 14 shirt during his time at Hertfordshire. Hertford. <laughs> Welcome to Watford Hassane. Could have just put Watford, man. Come on, you guys are trying to be creative here. So those are the updates for Watford, and we're gonna move on. How are you liking the show so far, guys? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. So we covered Philip Benkovic, we spoke about Edo Kayembe, we talked about Wesley, and we even touched on that left back there, Hassane Kamara. So we're gonna so we're gonna move on. We're gonna keep it moving. We have another official movement here. Moises Caicedo recall from Bearshot. Ecuadorian international returns to Premier League squad, subject to international clearance. And I found it strange that this kid has been starting games for Ecuador in the World Cup qualifiers and everything, rubbing shoulders with the best of the best in South America and doing very well. And he's not playing for Brighton. I don't like, what the hell? But anyways, he's Bissouma. He's taking part in the Afghan. And I think a player like Moises Caicedo could actually fill in and replace him really, really seamlessly. 
and who knows just stay and try to find his feet in premier league football so brighton and hove albion have recalled moises caicedo from his loan spell with belgian side bell shot ecuador and international returns to grand Potter's premier league squad subject to international clearance Technical director Dan Ashworth said, with Enoch Mwepu picking up an injury at West Brom and Izbi Suma away at the African Cup of Nations, we have recalled Moises to give Graham an additional midfield option. Same thing I said, man, but I didn't know that Mwepu picked up an injury there against West Brom. That must have came in the FA Cup. We've also loaned out Taylor Richards to Birmingham, Aaron Connolly to Middlesbrough, and Jurgen Lacardia has made a permanent move. So it makes sense for Moises to come back here as part of the squad for the second half of the season taylor richards while we're here taylor richards is another one i have to cover so taylor richards joins birmingham on loan from brighton so that's two birds killed with one stone there so look we're not gonna get too deeper into this one but caicedo has been very very dominant in the midfield for ecuador during the world cup qualifiers and uh, he definitely has played for brighton before remember manchester united were trying to sign this kid so he is no slouch he is no slouch at all looking forward to see him play in the premier league for sure next up we have taylor howard bellis who is very close to home he's a man city player 19 year old english defender joining stoke city on loan after returning from a loan spell in belgium with anderlecht guess things gonna work out for him and he's gonna apply his trade elsewhere in a championship with stoke city hopefully he gets some well-needed experience and continues to develop very very nicely i know this player very well and he is one for the future it would have been nice if he would would have been in the first team like uh cole palmer uh phil foden and develop just like that but it's okay if you're not you know gonna get game time just go out there and get the experience in the championship it's always a smart thing to do howard bellis checks in central defender arrives from manchester city 19 year old joins until the season's end spent first half of campaign in belgium with Anderlecht. Stoke City have today completed their first signing of the January transfer window with the arrival of Taylor Harwood Bellis. The 19-year-old central defender has joined the Potters on loan from Manchester City until the end of this current season. The England Under-21 international spent the first half of the campaign on loan with the Belgian giant Anderlecht, where he made 19 appearances. A graduate of the Manchester City Academy, the Stockport-born defender made his professional debut for the citizens in September of 2019. After making his Champions League debut for Pep Guardiola's side three months later, Howard Bellis scored his first goal for the club during an FA Cup tie against Port Vale in January of 2020. A number of cup appearances followed at the start of the 2021 season campaign before he joined Blackburn Rovers on loan for the second half of the season. The six foot two defender received rave reviews during his time at Ewood Park as he made 19 appearances at the heart of Tony Mowbray's defense. Soon after joining Anderlecht in the summer, Howard Bellis received his first call up to the England Under 21 squad since making his debut for the Young Lions in september he has started a further three times manager michael o'neill said taylor is a young player who has already accrued valuable experience with man city in the championship with blackburn and playing at the highest level in belgium he's very highly thought of at man city and we are delighted to have secured him for the remainder of the season so all the best taylor howard bellis on your loan stint at stoke we're gonna keep it moving next up we have another load move here it's 20 year old highly rated leeds united right back cody drame going to cardiff in a championship on loan for the rest of the season since i've been giving you the visuals here's more good luck cody the leeds united fc defender has today joined cardiff city on loan until the end of the season i was actually surprised that they loaned him out seeing that They've been having a lot of injury problems over at Leeds United and it would have been nice to keep him around the squad and use him as a band-aid option from time to time. But listen, to each is his own and you're going to do what you, you want to do. I, I, I can't dictate what you do, but 
I thought they would have actually kept him. Next up, there's Rocky Bushiri, 22-year-old Belgian center back from Norwich City, joins Hibernian FC in the Scottish Premiership on loan until the rest of the season as well. Rocky Bushiri joins from Norwich City. We are delighted to announce that gifted young center back Rocky Bushiri signs from Norwich City. The 22-year-old has joined unknown for the remainder of the 2021-22 season. However, we do have an option to sign him permanently in the summer with the transfer details already agreed. A strong and quick 6-foot-2 defender caught the eye in Belgium, becoming the youngest ever debutant for KV Oosten and featuring regularly in their top flight at a young age. Alongside this, he impressed for the Belgian on the 21 side, being capped on seven occasions. Bushiri is the fourth player age 22 and under to join us during the January transfer window as we develop an exciting, youthful, and hungry squad that has the potential to take Hibs to the next level and deliver against the club's objectives. All right, we're not going to go further into this article, but we got a lot more to talk about. But all the best, Rocky. Hopefully, you're a rock over there for Hibernian FC. We're going to skip to the confirmed deals and talk about Jan Zumbarek, a 20-year-old Czech Republic player, leaving Brentford to join Viberg FF in the Danish League. And, uh, you know, Brentford and Midtjylland do have links. And they do have links with Denmark, but this is not with Midtjylland. This is with Viberg FF, and this is an undisclosed fee. But I'll see if I have more on Jan Zumbarek for you. Never really heard of the player, so I guess it's fine. He's going to leave for greener pastures. And when I say greener, I mean the fact that he won't play much at Brentford. He's going to go on to play for Viberg, right? Greener. It's a, it depends on how you look at things, right? So, yeah, I got more for you. VFF picks up Czech under-21 national team player. Viberg FF buys the Czech under-21 national player, Jan Zumbarek from the Premier League club Brentford. The 20-year-old midfielder has signed a contract in the Cathedral City until the summer of 2025. All right, we're not going to get too deep into this one, but you could see Jan Zumbarek dressed up in all greed, ready to do his thing. Good luck! And it seems like Viberg does use the clover as their logo as well. So all the best to the young man, man. You know, you don't want to rot on the bench over at Brentford or playing for the under-21 team when you could go and develop in Denmark. Enjoy, bro. Enjoy. So we got two more big transfers to talk about. Let's first start with Chris Wood, 30-year-old New Zealand international, leaving Burnley for Newcastle United, 30 million euros. It was said that his release clause was triggered, and to be completely honest, I'm shocked. I was shocked. This one really shocked me. This one shocked me. This one had me like WTF. Seriously, because Newcastle, you look, you look desperate. Seriously, you look very desperate. And you're telling me, no disrespect to Chris Wood, but all disrespect to him. You're telling me you couldn't have found a, a, a different striker across Europe for 30 million euros that could have done the same thing Chris Wood do or better. Like, come on, man. Come on. How many years are you going to get out of him? You see what I'm saying? Should have signed somebody from the French League or something. Come over and rip up the freaking league for you. But... It is what it is, man. I, I don't know what's going on over at Newcastle, but who knows? He might just save them from relegation, but I don't know, man. Chris Wood not even scoring goals this season for Burnley. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked beyond shocked about this move. Newcastle United signed Chris Wood from Burnley. Newcastle United are delighted to confirm the signing of New Zealand striker Chris Wood from Burnley for an undisclosed fee. Wood has signed a two-and-a-half-year contract and arrives in time to feature in Saturday's Premier League clash with Watford at St. James's Park. The 30-year-old becomes the Magpie's second signing of the January transfer window following the arrival of England international fullback Kieran Trippier from Atletico Madrid. Wood would wear the number 20 shirt, the first number he wore for his country. The Auckland-born forward has 27 goals for the All-Whites and 60 international appearances. Chris Wood said, 
This is a very exciting opportunity for me and I'm delighted to be a Newcastle United player. And he did an interview. We're not going to look at that one. But he has 49 Premier League goals. He's stuck on 49 for a while. And he's definitely been a journeyman. Enjoyed loans with Barnsley, Brighton, Birmingham City, Bristol City, Millwall, Leicester. Eventually completing a permanent switch to the Foxes in 2013. And he helped Nigel Pearson side to the championship title during the 13-14 season and was loaned to Ipswich in February 2015 before he moved to Leeds that following summer. You see what I'm saying? Then he played for Burnley. So, look, he's been all over the place and I'm surprised that he signed for Newcastle United. I just want to put that one out there. This one is a shocker to me. Look, Chris Wood could be devastating on his day, but... I don't think Chris Wood is the man to really save Newcastle United, though. You see what I'm saying? So if they end up in the championship again, I won't be surprised. It will be because of signings like this. And we're going to keep it moving. And for the last confirmed signing of today's episode, we touch on Luca Dean, 28-year-old French left-back, leaving Everton for Aston Villa for 30 million euros. Made official today, today, Thursday, the 13th of January. It's going to be a long month. But Luca Dean, who fell up with Everton manager Rafa Benitez, haven't featured for the Toffees for quite some time, and it's because of that row with the manager. That, that that's, that's according to reports, but... Look, even Rafa came out and said that he was, I think he said he was surprised that the move, like he doesn't want to play anymore. I, I'll, I'll share some more with you, but Luca Dean is joining up with Aston Villa. Look, man, Aston Villa, you, you've been making a lot of signings. You've been making a lot of signings. You see what I mean? Very, very ambitious club. Let's take a brief look at Aston Villa and the transfers that they've done this season already. They spent a lot of money, man. They spent a whole lot of money, 129 million. But the crazy thing is, they made 127 million euros as well. So they've spent what they made. So that's a good thing. That's a very, very good thing. Emi Buendia, 38 million euros. Leon Bailey, 32 million. Danny Ings, 29 million. They brought in Ashley Young. They got to pay his. Of course, his um his, his deal, his um salary. Philip Coutinho on loan. Axel Twan Zabi, but he then left. And uh, it's a lot of that's a lot of money spent, man. A lot of money spent. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely a lot of money spent. And now, you know, look at Dean, man. So Aston Villa, Steven Gerrard, and uh, the club, they do have very, very high ambitions. And uh, let's see what they do this season. Not bad at all. Not bad. I like I like what I see. I like what I see. 127 million. They have been spending a lot of money though since they got promoted. Look, 2020, 21, they did spend a hundred million as well. And the previous season, a 1920 season, Aston Villa spent 156 million euros. So within the last three seasons, they have spent almost 400 million euros people like to talk about city spending money for how much aston villa is spending without the success but anyways we we're gonna keep it moving you know what i'm saying listen almost 400 mil is not far away from a billion okay it, it ain't far at all let's keep it moving though let, let, let us keep it moving. Luca Dean to Aston Villa from Everton. Here we go. Agreement reached for 27 million euro fee. Permanent move. Personal terms agreed today morning. Dean is now traveling to Birmingham and will undergo his medical today. Another big one for Gerard after Philip Coutinho. Listen, man. Luca Dean is a quality left back and will provide competition for Matt Target. And also, Ashley Young does play at left back at times this is a quality player i think he's slot right into the team along with philip coutinho and aston villa will look to actually fight for european football this season i won't be surprised if they do get it but it's going to take some time for these players to settle though he was linked with a move to west ham united 
him to Newcastle was never going to happen, but I think West Ham would not have been a bad place for him to go as well, seeing that Aaron Cresswell is going through some injury problems and so have Ben Johnson and, and, and the fullbacks over there. So, look, could have been West Ham, but he chose the claret and blue of Aston Villa. So all the best, Luca Dean. I would have taken him at Man City. I just want to put it out there. He's that good. But I guess, you know, City never went in for him. And Aston Villa did. So Luca Dean to Aston Villa. Here we go. So first time we're talking about Fabrizio Romano today as well. So those are the confirmed transfers on the third episode. We've touched on all the confirmed transfers so far and uh, we will do so in episode four but before we do move on let's touch on uh, some quick rumors what did i call this section the last time the manscaped rumor report i, I can't even remember but let let's talk some rumors here so this one's been heating up lately and according to matt law on twitter talks on going over adama Traore with spurs hoping to agree alone with an obligation but they might be forced to pay up if they really want him this month. Tottenham Hotspur FC. So you see the article there from the Telegraph. Tottenham are hoping to convince Wolves to allow Adama Traore to join them on loan with an obligation to buy the winger in the summer. Look, Adama has been linked with a move out of Wolves for a while. He's been linked with City, Liverpool, you name it. Now the latest team he's linked with, with a serious chance of him leaving is Tottenham Hotspur so let's see what Antonio Conte will do with Adama if he does choose to join Spurs look Spurs another team who are very very ambitious and you never know man I'm just saying you never ever know what he'll be able to do if he links up with a play uh, with a manager like Antonio Conte so let's see if, if this one does happen I think he needs a change of scenery not scoring enough not assisting enough and you, you may find another way to use Adama Traore and get the best out of him. According to the Daily Mail, Man United are keen on Brighton's ex-Chelsea star Tariq Lamte as Ralph Ragnick targets a new right back who is an upgrade on Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Diego Dallo, but their £30 million valuation is £10 million short. Man United are in the market for new right back and have a strong interest in Brighton's Tariq Lamte. Ralph Ragnick wants an upgrade on the existing options with doubts over Aaron Wan-Bissaka's attacking game and Diego Dallo's defending. United value 21-year-old former Chelsea player at £30 million, but Brighton would want a fee closer to £40 million for him. Look, Tariq Lamptey has definitely excelled at Brighton, had an injury setback last season, but he's now back. Running up and down the right wings, tormenting wingers and left backs alike. So, look, that's Lamte pictured there. Very diminutive, but attacking wise, he's very good. And he's not bad. He's not too shabby in defense as well. He could dribble, he's fast. But don't go to United. Just want to put it out there. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't go. Go elsewhere. Maybe even go to Bayern Munich if you want. But don't go to freaking United. It'll be the end of you, bro. See what I'm saying? They'll find a, something to say about you in the future. So guys, let me know your thoughts on Tariq Lamptey's potential move to Manchester United. We know that Man United wants everybody, right? They always link to players all over Europe. When you're linked to a player, Man United then links to that player as well. And according to Patrick Berger on Twitter, Man United are definitely interested in Dennis Zachariah. There have been good talks with Ragnick, Judge, and player agents. Man United FC discussing about winter transfer. Gladbach would let Zach go for six to seven million euros? No, 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 no. This can't be real. Open races, but also your Dortmund, Juventus, and Liverpool interested too. No bid of any clubs so far. Nah, that this is hard to believe. Six to seven million and no bids? No, 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 no. Maybe they mean six to the seventy, because. Zachariah is only worth six to seven million? Nah, this can't be real. This cannot be real. Rumors them spreading. Claim that a sense me planting. But I'm an daddy 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 juggling. I be rumors that go on. Big up to the late Gregory Isaacs. 
So according to Fabrizio Romano, Munchen Gladbach's director, Eberl, confirms there are no concrete offers for Dennis Zachariah, that there has been a lot of speculation is not surprising, Man United FC. If something comes in the winter, I can't rule out that one of them, Zachariah Ginter, will leave. So that's some more detail on the whole Zachariah situation. This is one I want to actually talk about. Fabrizio Romano says more on Arthur Melo deal for Arsenal. Arteta approves him. Arsenal are also prepared to cover his salary, but it's up to Juventus. No green light yet for a load move and they need a replacement. Arthur's on Arsenal list since some days. All right, so look, Arsenal are interested in Arthur on loan. It has been discussed days ago, but still no talks or contracts with contacts with Juventus. Arsenal FC, Juventus there as well. So Arsenal are definitely look, looking to bolster their team, bolster their midfield, and bolster their forward line. We have another confirmed one coming for you from Fabrizio Romano. Anwar El Ghazi has signed his contract as a new Everton player. Deal sealed, and here we go confirmed. Medical completed. Official announcement will be today. El Ghazi joins on loan from Aston Villa by option clause, not mandatory is also included in the deal and as Luca Dean joins Aston Villa from Everton Anwar El Ghazi goes the opposite way I think he was unused at Aston Villa and he's helped them so much in the past and they haven't really repaid the faith in the the Dutch player there so all the best El Ghazi on your endeavors over at Everton in Liverpool, I should say. In the burn, on the Moses side. Okay. Since Fabrizio loves to talk transfers and love to cover everything, let's just use him to 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 you know give you guys the details. Official and confirmed for Lauren Balogun leaves Arsenal to join Middlesbrough unknown until the end of the season. Club statement announces Middlesbrough would cover 15% of his salary. Borrow. This is one that I didn't actually touch on. But maybe I've talked about it in the past. So we got some more confirmed deals during the whole rumor report, right? <laughs> Way to go, Dom. Way to go. Look, guys, there's a lot of rumors that we could actually talk about. It will take the whole day. But before I end today's episode, let's just touch on this one. Newcastle transfer news. Hugo Ekitike keen on movers. Talks over 25 million pound deal for Reims. Striker continue. Newcastle are in talks with league on side Reims over a 25 million pound deal for Hugo Ekiteke. The striker is keen to move to St. James's Park. Magpie is also close to signing Burnley striker Chris Wood that's completed already. While talks continue for with Monaco for defender Benoit Badiashile. Also add him to the list of the rumor report where we talked about Badiashile in the past. So Ekiteke, look. Newcastle remain in talks with Reims over a deal for Hugo Ekitike, with the striker understood to be keen on the move to St. James's Park. The Magpies are keen to bolster their forward options following the news that top scorer Colin Wilson will be out for eight weeks with a calf injury and uh, have already signed Chris Wood. But Newcastle boss Eddie Howe also wants to bring in Ekitike, who has eight goals in 18 games for league on side Reims this season. The proposed deal for the 19-year-old is worth around £25 million pounds with £22.5 million paid up front and £2.5 million in potential add-ons. Newcastle are willing to offer Ekitike a five-year contract. There is currently a small difference in valuation between Newcastle and Reims for Ekitike, but it's, it is understood that both parties are willing to come to an agreement. The, despite reports, Reims may ask for Ekitike to remain on loan for the rest of the season if he were to join Newcastle it is believed that he would instead become part of the first team at St. James's Park this month well they need him to survive of course if you're going to pay that money you might as well bring him in Newcastle have also shown interest in Dominic Solanke who how worked with at Bournemouth by Leverkusen's Patrick Schick Liverpool's Divock Origi and Zenit St. Petersburg's Sardar Asmund this month as they look to sign a striker this month look Side strikers signed already, but they, they look to bolster their options up top as well as Joel Linton, who is a striker, has dropped to being a midfield player. 
So look, guys, I could go on and on for the rest of the day, but that's where I have to end today's episode. We had some big ones. Al Anwar Ghazi confirmed a bit late. Luca Dina to Aston Villa, Chris Wood to Newcastle, and a few more big ones as well. And there'll be more coming. So the more we get the confirmed deals is the more I'll do these. So make sure you support the thing. Like the video if you you know you enjoy the episode. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to head on over to manscaped.com who are the best in below the waist men's grooming. I have to take my time and say that. Head on over to manscaped.com who are the best in below the waist men's grooming. Okay? Work on personal hygiene this year 2022 and beyond and start doing so with manscaped use the coupon code dominic rich to get 20 percent off plus free shipping all the links would be in the description box down below i repeat dominic rich 20 percent off free shipping links in the description box down below trust me your balls will thank you so until next time i'd like to say thanks for watching peace out rich squad Peace.